Lady Gaga arrived at New York's Guggenheim Museum to celebrate the launch of her first fragrance, Fame. It was just for the vanity of creating something that I really loved. Uh, myself and uh, Stephen Klein and uh, Nick Knight all got together and Nick Knight and I worked on the bottle. Uh, Stephen and I worked on the ad campaign together. She said, let's do something like nobody's done before and let's show the dark side and the light side of fame. And that's what started the whole ball rolling. There's sort of a duality with the fragrance, but in terms of the smell and the purity of it, um, it's a quite delicious, succulent, slutty, seductive fragrance. Inside the gala, Gaga made her entrance asleep inside a replica of the fragrance bottle. And through an opening, guests attempted to wake her by touching her. We asked attendees their thoughts on Gaga's influence on fashion. She's changed things because I think everybody tries to do the right thing. She does the things from her heart. She's taking risks. And I think it's always good to take risk in fashion. So I think she's an inspiration. I really think that uh, what Lady Gaga is doing is very creative, fashion-wise too. Yeah. Oh and then we we're all trying my, our best, aren't we? <laughs> she can do anything. She's just a really creative individual. And, um, you know, I, I think anything is possible when you have the interest and the passion for expressing yourself. I'm able to create and communicate with my fans now through images and products and all sorts of different things because that is the sort of generation that we live in. It's sort of this mad mix of media and technology and products and, and sound and, and, and sensors and transmission of information. I hope you feel sexy and I hope you feel the fame.